Hello True Believer. Today we're going to be looking at how to build our rectangular base for our iPhone using uh, Autodesk Inventor. So to begin with, the iPhone looks something like this. And we're just going to have the rectangular block base that we're going to be looking. And if you look at the iPhone, it actually has curved edges around the edges here, so in each of the corners. So we're going to look at how to use the fillet tool in order to achieve that. So we go back here, we want to build a two-dimensional sketch. So we go across to the sketch tab start 2D sketch and like before we want to use the XY plane so we click on that and then all the measurements that you find in that Word document that I've given out is using the bottom um, left hand corner of the iPhone so if we click on the rectangle tool and we go down here to the origin before we click have a look see how it gives us the X and Y coordinates so you can manually type them in by pressing tab but if that doesn't feel what you need to do, if you know where the origin is, you can just go automatically down here to the center and click. Now, when we drag that out, it gives us our measurements relative to that origin. Okay, so you can manually type them in. Uh, for the iPhone, I measured it to be 78 millimeters wide and 157 millimeters high. So we'll just type in um, tab and then we'll go 78, press tab again and notice how it's already automatically locked this in, so if we mouse wheel in it actually has this, so it's fixed that width of the rectangle Yeah. so now we'll go and um, fix the height of this, so we'll go 157 and then press tab again and now it's locked in at those dimensions for the width and the height so remember how we wanted to build it always in this top uh, left hand corner, so we go up in here and then we press click so there's our first beginning, we've built a rectangle so we haven't used multiple lines, we've just used this rectangle tool clicked on the center and dragged it out now from here we actually want to fillet these edges so we go across here to the fillet tool which gives you curves and instead of 2 millimeters, let's make that a little bit uh, a bit more curvy, so we use 5 millimeters Okay. and then the fillet tool is really easy, you just come along to the two lines that you want to connect with a fillet you press click and it makes it into a lighter shade of blue and then click again, so there's our curve you then repeat that on each of the four corners, so click on the top line and then click on this side line mouse wheel down, um, sorry, click the mouse wheel in, drag it down click and click and then we click there and then click there so that should give us all four of our corners all ready to go. Okay. So then you go finish sketch, and there's those curves that we've wanted. Okay. So then the next step we need to do is actually to uh, extrude this shape out. So now we're going to be dealing with the three dimensional characteristics of the shape. So we go across here to the 3D, then across the extrude tool, and that gives us these options. Now we want to have it to be a solid output not a box because that will just make it hollow so we want it to be solid and um, because we want to be pushing back into this axis we'll use the push back so when we go backwards it will be going into the plane that we created now I've measured the um, iPhone to be 8 millimeters, so we'll go here and type in 8 and then just OK right so now we've got our first sort of uh, block. Now if you look carefully at the iPhone it actually has filleted edges around these corners, they're not that sharp so we have to use the three-dimensional model fillet tool. So if we click on that and we'll just give it a, sh a short two millimeter buffer in and instead of clicking on the actual face we need to uh, click on the corners of um, where we want the fillet to occur. So I'm going to click on the front fillet that will create the fillet all around the edge there, then OK so now we have um, our fillet done to the front to give it that nice curvature and then just rotate it around to the back and again use the uh, 3D model fillet tool and we'll keep it at 2 millimeters, and then click on the back then OK and we've now created our first base of our iPhone